to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing fettuccine with chanterelle mushrooms and chicken. Really nice, simple recipe, and tastes amazing. Let's get on with it. It's a really easy one, this one. Right, the first thing I've got is around about 80 grams worth of dried chanterelle mushrooms. You can pick that up from your local delicatessen and some supermarkets. I'm just going to put those in a bowl, and I've got some nice warm water some nice hot water and i'm just going to cover these mushrooms and i'm going to let them sit for around about an hour just let them rehydrate and soak up all that water all right here i've got my chicken thigh nicely finely sliced i'm going to put in a really good dollop of ginger a little bit of white wine okay just like that and i'm going to actually marinate these for around about an hour a bit of freshly ground black pepper fresh is best of course that can go straight into our uh, little marinade mix i'm going to add in a little bit of parsley i've just chopped up, up roughly okay just a nice little few sprinkles of that over the top that's going to uh, add some nice color give that a really good stir up just like i'm doing there get all those flavors incorporated make sure that uh, garlic gets into that chicken okay just like that right about an hour later here we are i'm going to use the wok because it films better you can just use a normal saucepan if you want or a fry pan this just makes life a little bit easier for you to view and for me to cook believe it or not so i've got a little bit of butter there in the bottom of the pan and i'm just going to fry off the uh, chicken in little batches you can see they're nice little thin strips and that way it'll just mix through with our fettuccine later nicely all right just keep stirring those around from time to time it looks like i'm doing a stir fry i know but all i'm doing is making sure the chicken gets cooked on all sides so as i said we're going to cook these off in little batches and we're going to reserve the uh, the chicken once it's around about 95 percent cooked through i'm just going to put that aside and don't worry, that chicken's only going to sit for a very small period of time. Right, a little bit more butter into our pan, like that. Just melt that down, and butter is always better. If you want to use uh, a margarine, you certainly can, but you won't get the same flavour. Now here I've got a little small tub of pre-sliced mushrooms. Only reason I'm doing this is just to bulk out that mushroom factor a little bit more. The chanterelles are going to take over as our main flavour when we get around to cooking those. So just cook those down briefly, get them just to wilt down a little bit, and here is our chanterelles. I'm going to add all the liquid and the chanterelle mushrooms straight into that pan, just like that. Okay, stir these around a little bit, make sure they're not sticking together, and every mushroom is getting its own little bit of heat as it deserves. Okay, so just get those cooking down and uh, we'll start to see that liquid reduce we can add our chicken back in and any juices that are in there or any butter that is in there put that straight into the pan as well okay we can uh, start reducing this liquid down just nicely now in the meantime mrs kp is already getting ready to cook up our fettuccine we're just going to use a uh, store-bought fettuccine in this instance okay i'm going to add in a little dollop of thickened cream straight in just like that just to give it a nice little creamy texture don't have to go way over the top on that just keep stirring those through until those uh, chanterelles are cooked through and of course our chicken is going to cook that last little five percent okay very very simple here is our fettuccine mrs kp has already prepared she's going to put that straight into that sauce and get that pasta all nice and saucy as well and we all love something that's a little bit saucy don't we okay just stir that through make sure all those uh, flavors and everything else is getting uh, mixed together i'm just going to get a pair of tongs here and i'm just going to serve this up onto the plate and in true kp fashion i'm pretty sure i'm going to make a mess of the edge of the plates but uh a little bit better than usual all right how easy was that to do it doesn't take very long at all apart from the time it takes to soak your dried mushrooms all right a little bit of parmesan or pecorino straight over the top you can use either i don't care but they both taste great and before you know it you've got kp's fettuccine with chanterelle mushrooms and chicken 
love to see you try and make this one at home thank you so much for watching this video really do appreciate it if you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence it should make you feel warm and fuzzy too leave a comment i love reading and responding to them Share this video with all your friends, all platforms of social media. We're trying to get the name of KP's Kingdom out there. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time a new video goes up. But more importantly, if you want to learn how to make a really nice exotic or a little bit more high-end dish just like this, really, really simply and easily, well, you need to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button. You'll never miss another one of my videos. Again, off to eat my uh, fettuccine with chanterelle mushrooms and chicken. And I will catch you next time. Bye.